today i'm in conversation with award winning filmmaker asad faruqi um who's armed with faith uh, his release is streaming on z5 in india you can watch it there uh, asad what is something uh, that none of the audiences know about your film you know even the ones who've seen it yeah uh, so something that people don't know about in the film is uh, well most of the film i shot by myself just one man uh running around with the camera doing sound as well and uh then there's a lot of like things uh, like a lot of bombs that get diffused that you don't see in the film um you diffused sorry you diffused no no i never diffused anything i don't i it's they would do it and i would just be filming them that's that's all i did was film and just be around with them But were you ever uh, jittery or nervous by being on field with them? Yeah, of course there was the element of fear was definitely there and uh you know like one of the one of the things that I was most scared of and this happened so long ago because I was like last time I was filming for this film was 2016 but most of uh, which is almost a decade ago yeah you know, but most of the uh Most of the time, like the things that I was scared of were IEDs, improvised explosive devices, which would be or and booby traps, um, you know, because I was traveling with these guys and they were a target all the time by the Taliban and you know other organizations that are trying to like sort of uh, attack civilians in Pakistan. And what inspired you? Inspired you? I mean, of course, you mentioned that you stayed in Pakistan for a considerable time and. you always wanted to know like you mentioned but then uh this this has to be very close to your heart do you know to actually make a film on it uh is there any personal anecdote um or any personal story behind this or just i mean we like to know your inspiration uh, what well, for me um, becoming a filmmaker was a conscious decision that i made very late in life and uh, for me it was more of like i wanted to understand and learn more about the world from what i you know was being told by media by news media and everything else so for me like and then again like growing up in a post 911 pakistan um for me it was like I, what i wanted to show was the impact of war on terror on pakistan and pakistanis and look at that war but from the lens of people who are living through it um you know pakistan is been accused of harboring terrorists and uh you know like giving safe haven which is not untrue but at the same time like people and civilians uh for me they are the most more important uh aspect of the story and what happens to ordinary people during the course of history and uh if you look at like the war on terror and all the reporting that has happened it always talks about the lives lost of soldiers and terrorists but really seldom does the uh you know lens go towards people who are ordinary people who are not on either side and they just want to live their regular lives and in peace and uh you know for me that was that was that is what i wanted to show and add to the to the whole you know all the films about war on terror that have come out which have always for me have always been from like a point of view of the west, like american lens or western lens following the marines or native forces and everyone and i didn't want to be part of like a military force it was more like i wanted to follow civilian and that that's what you see in the film right and the film is obviously also won an emmy um what can you tell us about that experience that was uh very very i mean i did not expect the film to win an emmy i mean i don't make films to for them to win awards because that in itself is like a very dif- difficult world for me it's just making a film in itself is a great achievement um but like getting that accolade definitely helped the film get more uh view and more like sort of uh, people got to know more about it and then also like the people who are part of the film are really proud of that uh that accomplishment and